2008 has been dubbed the year of the flying saucer, the year of the UFO, because so many sightings have been made. Now you may have been following this on the news media and on the internet, just how many sightings have been made. I made a video a little while back called Satan Stargate 2008 and I said in it, by this summer you may be seeing UFOs. Well, you're seeing UFOs by this summer. Now, I, I don't want to say I told you so or anything like that. That's not what my objective is. Uh, my objective is to warn you um, of what the Lord Jesus Christ warned us about. And that is that there are people living on this earth who are not human. They are only half human. They are the descendants of the Nephilim. They are, in fact, themselves Nephilim, but smaller versions. They look exactly like us, just like uh, a wheat and a tear look exactly the same. In the parable of the wheat and the tares, Jesus Christ explains this. And he also says that we are sheep, but they are ravenous wolves in sheep's clothing. Another reference to looking just like us. Now, all these UFOs that you're seeing everywhere, um, it's pretty obvious that it can't be hidden. The British government have now started disclosing all of their files. Well, they say all of their files, it would be some of them. Uh, and even the Vatican have said that it's all right to believe in beings from another planet. Now, this is all part of the softening up process. Now, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you'll understand this, that God made man and put him on the earth. On this earth, there is a word called mankind. I try not to use that word um, with regards to man because that says it's kind of like a man, which I would associate to the tares. Wheat and tares. We are wheat, they are tares. God made the wheat. The tares were not made by God. These were made by the union between the fallen angels and the women of the earth, as it says in Genesis 6. The fuller story is in the book of Enoch. It's an absolutely astounding story of how 200 angels came to the earth and decided to act against God. Now, they were separated from God and they had to beg Enoch to pray to God for them to get an answer. They were begging for the lives of their children, the giants, the Nephilim, they, because, because they loved them. But God wasn't prepared to give forgiveness for this because basically his children had been raped by these fallen angels. They should never have come here and they should never have touched the human women. And it says in the book of Enoch that the angels were not given women because they are eternal. They live forever. Now the word woman means came out of a man. So what would an angel want with what came out of a man? If they were going to be given female companions by God, they would have been called perhaps something like a wool angel, which means came out of an angel. Woman came out of man. Woman was made for man, not for angels. But the angels, 200 of them anyway, didn't agree with God. And hence we have all of this mess on this earth. Now their children, their, the, the relatives of their children, are still here, the tares, and they run this world. And they are half fallen angel, they are half human. The angels come from the planet Nibiru. Their species is angel. We come from the planet Earth. Our species is man. Now because of all of these disclosures which are happening now, um, obviously the scepticism will now have to leave. People will have to stop arguing as to whether or not UFOs exist because there's now been an admission by the British government and, of course, the Vatican have as good as admitted it also. The time is really short. God is revealing things to everyone now. Please be one of those who listens to Jesus Christ because the Lord has told us that only those who call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. Are you going to be one of these people that's going to call on the name of Jesus? Or are you going to be one of these people that when he actually appears on this earth, they're going to say, oh Lord, you know, we, we didn't know. Because you do know, you have been told. And now the warnings that people who have been spoken to by God in dreams and through the Holy Spirit have come true. You're seeing them come true before your eyes. John F. Kennedy said there was a worldwide monolithic conspiracy and here's just part of it being exposed now. Next to be exposed is the whore of Babylon.